of your right hand causes you to sin. Cut it off. Better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. Sin will be the death of me. Things look rough, eh? What's right? Listen to him carefully and do exactly as he says. That's right. You already know about me, Jesus. I guess I'm opening the door. For God so loved the world that he gave his one only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. The scriptures declare that the Lord is interested in everything that concerns us. Now there's a mind for details. The world's pretty screwed up. All people the same. Only cross of Christ can lift this sadness. God set us free from the power of darkness. The power of darkness. John 8, 36, sums it up. Understand. If some set you free, then you will be really free. Why are these doubts coming up in your mind? Suck up your pride. If your right eye causes you to sin, God you down. It's better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. Be courageous. Lord, in Matthew 5, 16, you tell us to let our light shine. So we may be praised. We ask that you would help us to be that light. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus said one, one, one soul is worth the whole world. You see, the body is the house and the soul is the tenant. And it's eternal. You can't be unborn. You were born to live forever. And you cannot be unborn. You cannot stop the process. You can change the direction of your life. Jesus said there are two roads in life, a broad road and a narrow road. The broad road leads to destruction, and the narrow road leads to eternal life. You can change roads. But you cannot change the fact that you're a living soul and that you're going to live somewhere forever. That's a sobering thought. And you've only got a few minutes or a few hours or a few days or a few weeks or months to make the decision which road you're going to be on.